Um, okay, usually Kathy's here, but she's not here today. Okay, so for warm up, we're gonna do 50 jumping jacks, 25 jump squats, which are just jump squats, um, 15 sprawls, 10 push ups. So 50 jumping jacks, 25 jump squats, 15 sprawls, 10 push ups. Not really any order of things, it's just, yeah. Okay, on your own. Uh, standing or kneeling, neck rotations. Other way. Up and down. Side to side. Ear to shoulder. Shoulder circles. Other way. Second wing. Oh, full circles, I guess. Other way. Cross your chest. Other way. 
over your head. Pivoting. Right arm on your right hip, left arm over. Other side. Hip circles. Other way. All right, so that's kind of sideways ish. Dominal fours here, arm, right arm goes underneath left arm, put your shoulder on the ground. Put your left hand on your right hand. All right, other side. Release, child's pose here. Uh, downward dog, it's a downward dog. This thing. Kick your right leg through here. Keep your left knee off the ground. Um, Left hand facing out that way, right arm up. Right hand down, left arm up. Both hands down, drop the back leg. Straighten out the front leg and lean into it. All right, collapse that right leg in front of you. Scoot your back, your left leg back a little bit. Both hands over your head. Now both hands on the ground, reaching forward. All right, back up. Put that knee back up and go back to downward dog. Here, stay here for a second. Left leg up and through. Here, left arm over your head. All right, left arm down, right arm up. Both arms down, put that back leg down, straighten the front leg, lean into it. Back 
up, collapse that leg in front of you, scoot your back leg a little bit further, both arms overhead. Both hands on the ground, reaching forward. Release, get back into downward dog. Cycle your heels. All right, from here, um, let's actually do, let's get into sit outs, but not the regular sit outs. Um, let me make this not so. Lopsided. Yes. There you go. So we're going to do the first movement. It's going to be the sit out, but we're going to go um, all the way from sit out here. So it's not the sit out where you come back, but it's the same movement. I'm replacing this hand with that foot. And vice versa. Here, so I end up in a crab pose. Around. So keep doing that. You can reverse directions, but do that drill for a few seconds. All right, now from there, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go uh, how do this? from here, around and come back. So get into this uh, hovering position. You're gonna go into crab and then back to the hovering position and then crab. And then the next time you go around when you're about to hover or yeah, hover, you go around and come back. And then sit out. So you're going to just come here and go around. Like you're doing a hip up. Here. You know how we do the up here and around? Do the same movement, but it starts off from the sit out. So here. Come back here and back down. Yeah? Does that make sense? All right, next movement, a little bit more um, basic or what we know. Um, bridge to shrimp, scissor, forward roll. So bridge, shrimp, scissor, forward roll. Thank you. 
All right, next movement, we're gonna do the, the hip up to the arm bar um, movement. So we're gonna hip up, hip thrust, hip thrust, step across, pivot, and down. So hip thrust, foot across, pivot, I'm gonna hit my dummy. Hip thrust, pivot, or All right, time. Get your, or get water and get your dummy. We're gonna do some uh, leg passing drills. So water, dummy. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna do a couple more drills before we get to the um, transitioning movements that we're gonna go through today. So the first one, um, well, legs are on our hips. Uh, do that kettlebell hip thrust movement, pass the leg to the other hand, step through with that inside leg, knee on belly, both sides. So hip, hip here. Hip here. Just that for now.
Hey, this may be a stupid question, but what do you do with your hands at the end? Um, so a lot of the time when I do that, I'll keep my one hand on this leg, just usually for uh, like to keep them from doing anything like trying to turn or whatever. My other hand goes, tends to go on the shoulder pushing down or I'll even grab a collar and pull up. You can also transition this hand to the hip here. So you can go here. But most of the time when you knee on belly somebody, they're going to move. So a lot of the time these don't work as well, but definitely like when you get here, I like holding on to the, keeping the ankle. I'm like cupping the ankle like this. Cool, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll do the next drill. The next drill is the, um, we're gonna use the other foot. We're gonna step out with the outside foot and reverse knee on belly. So same thing here. I'm going to switch hands. The other foot goes in and I'm reverse knee on belly. So hip up, switch hands, step the foot, step on the outside and knee on belly facing the legs. This hand can go on the hip, can go on the shoulder, the other hand, or just balance yourself here, making sure. All right, next movement. Next movement is, let's say they're starting with their, whatever, their feet on me, but I'm going to go at the uh, knees. Again, it's not great with the dummy because they don't have knees. Um, so I'm gonna keep holding onto these, but like, let's pretend that these are the knees. I'm gonna push instead of pull that way. So I'm going to come from here. I'm going to grab at the inside of the knees and step in. This hand is going to go to the hip and the other hand is going to stay on the knee and I'm going to slide this way. So I'm doing the knee slide, the step in knee slide. So here, holding on, stepping in, this hand is going to go to the hip. I'm going to go step out with that hand or that foot. Press down with this this inside leg. Yeah. So here. Your knees on their thigh. My knees on the thigh. Yeah, I'm going to go this way so you can see it. So I'm stepping in the same hand that um, the foot that stepped in is going to go on the hip. I'm going to keep pushing this. I'm going to pin the thigh with my shin. And this foot, my outside foot, comes in a little bit just so I, I can balance here. So again, here, I'm holding on to the inside of the knees, stepping in, this hand goes to the hip, I'm going here. This foot has to come out. If it stays here, I'm, uh, I actually can get my back taken since I'm, I'm facing 90 degrees. So I wanna make sure I'm stable here. So it's the beginning of the knee slide pass.
All right, time. Does that move feel familiar or that movement feels familiar, right? We've done that before, Jackie, maybe? Maybe. Um, so we're gonna work from there. Um, sort of. We're actually gonna do a different movement, um, but the same. So I'm holding on to the knees, I'm stepping in and I wanna do that knee slide pass, but they're not, they're, like bracing against it or they'll turn the other way in which case i'll actually drop my knee not across this way but across that way which is weird a lot of the time because then they'll try to get this leg over your leg but since i'm pinning this leg down um they can't get like a guard so a lot of the time i'm here so I'll actually instead of using this where i'm parallel to the person i'm gonna um because I'm already controlling this hip because I always want to control the two hips, two sides of the hips and the, the shoulders, both shoulders. So this is already, this pin is already controlling this hip. So if I go here, I feel like this elbow, which is stronger, is useless. So a lot of the time I'll actually turn, I'll put, let me do the other side so you can see, I'll put um, my elbow at the armpit and both of my hands here. And then I'll step this around. So once again, I'll do this side. So I'll be holding on to inside of the knees and I'm trying to do that step in to slide that way, but they won't let me. So I'll slide the other way. I'm putting my foot right in the middle, right underneath like their butt basically. And I really want to slide that way to do that but they're not going to let me so I'll and they'll usually overcompensate so I'll slide the other way and pin that leg down right so then I'll put my elbow at the armpit and my hand at the hip here and a lot of the time I'll either keep pushing this leg down to keep them from trying to get this foot and I'm going to step over and then I'll put this on the hip so I'm still uh, can you see it? I'm still holding on to um, the leg with that foot. That's not going to be necessary in a second, but I like just making sure I have control when I transition. So once again, we're doing that step in, but instead of going inside, we're going to go outside and then kind of, I want to drop my hip onto the shoulder and my my armpit onto um, the top of this shoulder and underneath their arm, my elbow underneath their armpit. So I'm going here. That back step is almost immediate because your body's just kind of going to follow what you're doing here. Does that make sense? Does your back step step over their arm or not? No. My back step kind of lands parallel to their midsection i guess so let me see if i can do this at a different angle that's i think that's that answered my question okay cool i'm still gonna do it at a different angle does anybody need to see it again i'm gonna do it again just to kind of watch
One thing to note when you guys uh, step over, put it here and I'm here. When I turn around, I don't want to expose my back this way because if my arm especially is flaring, they can, oh, that my arm. Like if I turn here, they can pull this arm and I can, they can roll me back. I wanna keep my head down here. So I wanna keep like, pressure on top of them. I don't want to be uh, sideways here. And then uh, at the end, transition into a um, side control. So here, I'm going to turn here. I'm going to place this hand back on the ground and put my elbow on the hip. And I'm going to transition um, this knee to the hip here. So I'm making sure this elbow and this knee, the ones that are up, are gonna come down. I'm like doing a scissor kind of motion here. To side control. Then put my arm underneath the head. So at the very end of it, transition is a, is a side control. Want to see it again? I can move the dummy sideways. I will show you again. So I'm here. I got the knees, I'm stepping in, and instead of sliding, I slide out here. This arm goes, and I make sure that the elbow and the hips are, are the armpit and the hip is secured. I step back, making sure that I'm leaning forward, not back here. And then I wanna, after they stop moving so much, I wanna transition into side control. So this arm is gonna replace this, I'm going to go here, and this knee is going to go at the hip here. So I get to this position, and then I'll try to get underneath the head. Yeah, we're just doing transitions today. So that was a transition to side control. Why are you laughing, Sarah? Did you crash onto the dummy or something? Why are you holding onto the leg so long, Sarah? Want to ankle lock them? Dummy's playing a wicked open guard over here. Oh, is that is that what's happening?
Jackie, are your knees tight to the hip and the shoulder of the dummy? Can you show the end again? Sure. Let's see how far I can see the dummy. Right. So I get here in this position. I'm going to kind of, you know how we were doing those uh, sit out to crab to whatever. Um, it's the same kind of motion where I'm in a the crab part of the motion, and now I just want to turn back around here. So my knee is going to go to the hip, and this elbow is going to go to the other hip. Here, here. That's what I want to do. I'm still in the middle of a transition right now, so. I'm going to move the dummy so you see. So I'm currently, this is how I end up. When I'm turning around, I'm transitioning. This foot is going to come in. This knee is going to come and replace this knee, right? But I have to move my foot first. So I'm going to go here, here, and then I widen out my base. I'll widen out my base here. I'm going to do it again this way. Um, so, dummy would be here. So, I'm coming here. I'm transitioning. I'm transitioning to basically get on my belly, but I have to make sure all of my uh, pieces are locked down. So, I'm going to replace this knee with this knee. But I want to make sure that I'm going to get. I'm going to be able to get this out as soon as it gets replaced. I widen out my base. This hand is replace this hand, this arm. So then I can move this underneath the head with the dummy. Looks like. Here, I'm going to pull that in, rotate this way widen out my base. These hands are kind of paralleling here. And then I'm going to move this hand underneath the head. Just transitions. All right. Emmy and Sarah work on getting to the side control and doing beach body towards the legs and then beach body towards the head. All right, time. We're going to work on more transitions. Uh, Jackie, you might want to keep to this transition or try the ones we're doing. Um, so, I wish I want to do this this way. Yeah. We're going to do the same transition here, here, and like I said, going to side control. Try to beach body towards the legs. The important one that we're going to try to do is beach body towards the head here. 
I'm going to reach body towards the head. I'm actually going to push this against the chest. Yeah. So I'm here, beach body towards the head. I'm going to push this arm towards their chest. I'm just going to push it there. And then I'm going to do another scissor and get into north south here and then transition to the secure north south where I have that overhook, elbows at the armpits, hands on the hips. And then I'm going to transition back into um, side control by pinning here, pinning the bicep here, transitioning again to the other side with that same kind of back step, and then getting back into side control here. And then transition into, again, each body towards the legs, the body towards the head, and pin the arm here, scissor my legs, or my knee ends up on the opposite shoulder here. I'm going to, this. they probably will move their arm out from underneath you. Get the secure um, north south. I'm going to show that movement from this angle. So I have that outside leg pin. I do this transition from the legs here. I get into side control. I'm going to beach body towards the legs. I'm gonna come back to side control, beach body towards the head. Here, I'm going to pin this arm to their chest. I'm going to scissor my legs so that this knee ends up on the opposite shoulder. Here, I'm gonna transition this arm, use both of my arms back here so I can secure the north-south. I'm going to pin the bicep. I'm going to transition my arm this way and back step again here and back into side. Spinny, spinny transitions. Yeah, Jackie, maybe, yeah? Maybe, no? Okay. There's laughing about something. What time is it? Oh, it's 6.50 already. Woo.
All right, time. If that makes sense. We just did a bunch of transitions today. We're going to do the submissions at the ends of those transitions on Friday. But do you have any questions about any of those transitions? Conceptually, it's like the sit out crab position that we were doing at the beginning. Because we're doing just a lot of like back stepping scissor motion kind of stuff. Any questions? Nope, okay. All right, so our workout for today. Show the board. We're gonna do hip ups, Russian twists, Superman, side to side leg lifts, uh, the sit up choke, back to Superman's bicycles, and then triangles. Uh, so, um, hip ups are the ones where your legs are straight up in the air, just hipping up. Um, Russian twist, you all know, that one, Superman. Um, Try to get your thighs and your torso off the ground. So I'm trying to get my thighs to lift up as well. Um, leg lifts side to side. Leg straight up, side, side. Um, sit up choke. Um, imagine that you're, you have somebody in guard. So arms here, like you're putting your arms in for the, uh, into the collar. So here, here. So up choke back to Superman. Bicycles are those ones and then triangles. I decided we finished easy with the triangles. Does that all make sense? Emmy, are you going to play? Yeah, I'm going to do it. All right. <laughs> it's really hard, though. It's really hard? It is. It's annoying. And yet I always put it on. I really miss side control, so I was just hanging out there for a minute. That's fair. You get to hug the dummy. All right. All of these are 45 seconds each. I'm gonna shorten it to 40 seconds so that in between I can be like, all right, now we're gonna do this thingy. Um, should I do that? No, I'm still gonna make it 45 seconds. Okay, are you all ready? The first one is our hip ups. Ooh, wait, let me make sure that I've turned on the other Zoom class. Okay. At some point, I'm going to have to let the coach into that Zoom class. Um, all right, ready? Hip ups to start. Make this loud. Hip ups. Scott, I don't know if you want to sign off or not, but you can. I'm in the middle of a class, so I will sign off in a second. Are you going to do it, you said? Uh, do you want me to sign off? Um, if, are you, unless you're going to do it. No, I'm in okay. class right now. You're, you're in your own class, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, can you make me host? Sure. Okay, okay I'm going to make, make me the host. I'm going to make you co-host. Let me see, or host, hold on just a second. Make me host. No. I'm going to make you co-host. <laughs> Okay, All right, the next ones are Russian twists. As I handle work. Russian twists.
Next are Supermans. I can see somebody in the video. Next are side to side leg lifts. Next are the sit up chokes. So feet up like this, choking. Back to Superman. You only have three more. Superman's bicycle triangles. Superman. Back over, bicycles. Bicycles. Last ones are triangles. 45 more seconds, just triangles. Just triangles, go. Why are you making that face at me?
Cool. And that is the end. Thanks, Cha. Welcome. Great. Thanks, Coach Cha. Yeah. You're welcome. Coach Cha. Whatever. <laughs> coach, no coach. No. Cool. We all, all see right, you for uh, Friday. Maybe Our we'll goal. be doing the the uh, submissions at each end of those okay. things. I have it written down. I like that. Yes. Cool. Hopefully, I shall be there. Okay. Enjoy the rest right. of your evening. You too. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.